Last year, Luna wrote a really good research paper. She worked very hard on it and spent weeks researching at the library and online, reading, analyzing, thinking, and writing. Her professor loved her paper. In fact, she loved it so much that she asked her if she could include it in her yearly Best Of website. A few months later, another student found her paper, read some parts of it, and decided to use a few ideas and words from it, but never gave Luna any credit. When Luna found out and read his paper, she was pretty upset and took it up with the dean of students. Luna put a lot of effort into her paper, just like investigative reporters do when they spend months researching a story, writing it, sending it to an editor, making corrections, and adding photos from a photographer. Researchers also put a lot of effort into their work. They often spend years applying for research grants, carrying out studies, and writing up their results, which are published in prestigious journals. Even if it doesn't take a lot of effort to create a piece of information, you still need to give the original creator credit for it. So how should you give credit, and when? Well, that's pretty easy. Just using a few sentences or ideas from another's work means you do need to give that person credit. If not, and when you get caught, it can be pretty humiliating. That's just what happened when Melania Trump's speechwriters used Michelle Obama's speech to create a new speech. The words and phrases were too similar to have happened by chance. It doesn't matter whether you use the same ideas without using direct words or if you use direct quotes. Either way, you need to give credit to the original creator. The only time you don't need to cite something you read is if it is common knowledge. So how should you cite something you want to use? If writing a paper, you need to give credit to the original creator anytime you use their words or ideas. In your paragraphs, you need to clearly indicate the difference between your ideas and the ideas or words of others. You also want to make sure that your reader can locate the sources you used, so you need to provide them with a little more information at the end of your paper. How you do this depends on which style you use, like MLA from the Modern Language Association or APA from the American Psychological Association. These styles dictate what information you need to include in your bibliography, like the title of an article, the publication, and the date. There are many websites that can help you put together bibliography entries, and also many databases can do it automatically. When you cite your sources properly, readers know what works you used and how you used them, and they can easily locate them. In this way, you give the original author the credit they deserve.